So much for your shortcuts. Yeah. Still short, just not quite as quick. But it'll be a damn sight quicker if you help me. My thoughts exactly. back.
You're... You're dominant. I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody Rome of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones Rome who saw fit to home. Sid. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. But what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind a choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Eh? What exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant the fire? What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. And cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. All right. Forest dark enough as it is.
See that river? We follow her upstream and we'll be in Lost Wing in no time. In no time. Right. Scout. Someone's far from home. Let's follow him. Huh? And? They're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. We move. I, 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 I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. But were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? intelligences. If we can capture her. You! Weapons on the ground, Imperials! <sighs> Let's get this over with then. They're not giant lizards. But I'll leave you on the wind! Yeah! 
I thought we were Imperials. Well, you do look the part. <laughs> Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria, and one blessed by the Phoenix at that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder. Does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the Creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the One Law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the One Warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies. And even that can take years. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in Lost Swing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, and they'll be sorely disappointed. See, I'm busy here. So, will it be?
It'll last you a good while. That it? I'm fine. You're leaving? Already? Well oh, then, stay safe. Yes? What? Coin purse weighing you down? Finished, are you? Look what the curl dragged in. Coin purse weighing you down. Is that all? <laughs> if our quarry's one and the same as Benedicta Harmon's, then we've got a world of trouble waiting for us in Lost Wing. There's a good girl. Hungry, are you? So much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? In the Fallen Ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Though its flying days seem to be behind it. It's a shame, that. Do you truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. Figures up ahead. But are they friends or foes? the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes.
No sign of the Royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scouts. You start here, I'll circle round the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout? Subtle. like get it boy <laughs> Church, I know. I'm one step out of you. You go in through the front. I'll take the rear. Anyone stands in our way, the other can stab him in the back. This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! About time. Stand back. Who the hell are you? Clive! Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No. There were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. <sighs> I'll give you one guess where he's going. Clive, after him.
word from the scouts. Not yet, my lady, but we are the Dominant's companion. It's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Cair Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping, should the Dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> my sex. To our Lady of the Wind! And the King! Ugh! The Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Benedicta! Imperials! And instead of killing them, you lead the rats straight to us. Mercy! <laughs> What we have here, boys. An Imperial bearer. Good. I was getting bored. Boo. Come <laughs> on. 
got some fight in you, even for a branded. <laughs> Clive! <laughs> Look us here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked you a question. Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Oh, something is there. And she's gone. say where she was going. No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offence. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brand. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know... Things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. Yeah. This is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't out when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. Oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the boat. Whose tamed worms a thousand and slain the tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led And watched as a million foes turned tail and fled His lance levels mountains it spanned as the deep The skies over storm breaks for everybody and should the Revenge won't bring him back It won't His name will live Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me, and I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch and bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Fate. You're content to be its slave, then.
His radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. <clears throat> My offer still stands. Join us and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Lord Margrace, don't! I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. Clive. <laughs> Wake up. Gav's back. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be travelling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way... <sighs> Suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. All right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he, he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clyde. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. someone I want you to meet. At this hour? He's the owner of the tavern, and our best hope of getting a decent night's kip. 